Hello, and welcome to the Gaming Dojo. In this video, we will be making models in Maya. Hands are notoriously hard to make for beginners, so I'll show you an easy way to make one. To start off, choose a primitive cube from the control panel above and expand it. Within the channel box to the right, you can change many fields to customize your shape. Typically, it is a good idea to save often. Just select File on the topmost control panel and select Save As in the drop down menu. Then name it appropriately. Now it is time to start sculpting our model. Since we already have the basic shape of the hand, let's start making some fingers. Start by selecting the faces on the farthest side of the shape and extrude them outwards. After creating one finger, go ahead and create the others, even including the thumb. At this point, you should start to see the beginnings of a humanoid hand. The next step is to select the different vertices at the tips of each finger and spread them out from each other. One small detail we'll add real quick is the palm of the hand. Simply select the vertices on the bottom of the model and push them upwards. Now, before we move on to the rest of the hand, let's create a wrist, just in case you want to attach this to a body. Similar to the fingers, just simply select the faces at the back of the model and extrude them outwards. Sometimes parts of your model just won't look right. That's where the scaling tool can be used to help reshape things. Also, don't forget to smooth out your edges on your models, especially the organic ones. Now onto the details of the hand. Since this model is still a bit blocky, we're going to round out some areas. For the fingers specifically, select the vertices at the tips of each one and scale them inwards to create a hexagon shape rather than just a square. Another small and quick detail to add here are the knuckles. Just select the vertices on the top of the model and raise them up. The multi-cut tool is amazing and can be used to do many things. In this instance, we're going to use it to create edges along the joints of the fingers to make them rounder and just in case you want to animate it later. If you do decide to animate this hand, add a few extra edges along the joints just so the textures don't warp when you bend them. Still using the multi-cut tool, we're going to add some very long edges from the tips of the fingers out to the wrist so we can make this hand look even more realistic. Select the vertices at the tips of each finger and pull them out to make them even more round. Next, select the newly made vertices we created on the edges upon the fingers and scale them outwards. As you can see, this small change makes all the difference, giving your hand more depth and straying away from that blocky look. The last few things I want to talk about is proper etiquette when making a model in Maya. First off, always name your model in the outliner. Secondly, to limit any drama in the future, select your entire model, go up to edit in the control panel, and delete by type history. As you can see in the channel box, all prior changes have been deleted. Thirdly, go up to Modify and select Freeze Transformations. It should delete all your transform information, so you can import models into other programs without any hassle. One last thing I'd like to mention is the file format known as FBX. It is a universal file format and can be used in many game engines when you export your model to them. Simply export your model as an FBX shown here, and you'll have smooth sailing. Thanks for watching this first video of Deving in the Dojo. In the next video, we're going to take the model we made and import it to Unity. See you then!